Objective 2. Construct histograms of discrete data. The histogram, a graph used to present quantitative data, is similar to the bar graph. A histogram is constructed by drawing rectangles for each class of data. The height of each rectangle is the frequency or relative frequency of the class. The width of each rectangle is the same, and the rectangles touch each other. So for example, drawing a histogram of discrete data. To construct a frequency histogram and a relative frequency histogram, using the data in the table here in the middle of what we did in a previous example, recall that this table summarizes the data for the number of customers who arrive at Wendy's for 40 randomly selected 15 minute intervals of time during lunch. Now the approach here is that the value of each category of data, the number of customers, is on the horizontal axis and the frequency or relative frequency is on the vertical axis. And then we're going to draw rectangles of each of equal length centered at the value of each category. So for example, the first rectangle is going to be centered at the value of 1. <clears throat> for the frequency histogram, the height of the rectangle is the frequency of the category. So for the relative frequency histogram, the height is the relative frequency of the category. Remember that in a histogram, the rectangles touch. So before we do anything, let's just go ahead and make sure that we round our relative frequency to two decimal places. So we have 0 0.03, we have this at 0 0.15, 0 0.03, 0 0.10, 0 0.18, 0 0.13, 0 0.05, 0 0.05, and 0 0.03. So if we look over to the left, we're going to create our frequency distribution, so our histogram using the frequency. So if you take a look here, the vertical axis of the frequency, and we can see here that the numbers go from 0 to 12, because 12 is the highest frequency. And then down below, here on the horizontal axis, we have the number of customers, and the number of customers go from 1 to 11. Okay, so let's go ahead and then put in our bars. So for the first one, for number 1, we have 1. So that means we're going to go all the way up to halfway there. So there is the first bar. And then 2 has the amount of 6. Now remember the rectangle should touch. So we're going to go all the way up here. And then this is going to represent 6. Okay. And then for 3, we're going to go to 1. So we're going to go back to the same height here. So there is 3. Okay, and then for four, we're gonna go all the way up to four. So we're gonna go all the way up to four here. Okay, and then five is gonna have seven. So we're gonna go all the way up to seven. And then six has 11. So we're gonna go all the way up to 11. Okay, and then for seven, I mean, excuse me, for seven, yes, it has five. So I'm going to go all the way up to five. And then for eight, it has two. So I'm going to go up to two. And then for nine, also has two. And then for ten, has zero. And then for eleven, has one. Okay, and let's go ahead and label this. So this is 1, this is 6, this is 1, this is 4, we have 7 here, this is 11, we have 5, we have 2, 2, 0, and then 1. And so therefore, there is our histogram for our frequency distribution. Okay. Now over to the right, we're now going to create a histogram, a relative frequency histogram. So on the vertical axis, we have our relative frequency and we're going from 0 to 0 0.3. Now if you look, we start at 0 
and the highest that it goes to is 0 0.15, 0 0.28. So that represents about 0 0.3, okay? So therefore, here is our values, and then our horizontal axis is gonna have the number of customers again. So for one, we're gonna to go to 0 0.03. So that means we're gonna go here to 0 0.03, okay? And then for two, we're gonna to go to 0 0.15. So that means now we're gonna go all the way up here to 0 0.15, okay? And then for three, it's 0 0.03, so there is 0 0.03, and then for 4 is 0 0.10, so 0 0.10, okay, and then for 5, we're going to 0 0.18, so we're going to go all the way up here to 0 0.18, and then for six is 0 0.28. So I'm gonna go all the way up here for 0 0.28. And then for seven, we have 0 0.13. So here we got 0 0.13. And then for eight, we have 0 0.05. And then for nine, we also have 0 0.05. And then for 10, we know that we have zero. And then for 11, we have 0 0.03. Okay, and let's go ahead and label our numbers here. So we have 0 0.03 here, 0 0.15, 0 0.03, 0 0.10, 0 0.18, 0 0.13, 0 0.05, 0 0.05, and 11 is at 0 0.03. So therefore what we've done is we've created a frequency histogram to the left and a relative frequency on the right. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this by using StatCrunch. Okay, so here are your instructions. Okay, when drawing a histogram, you want to enter the raw data into the spreadsheet and then name the column of the variable. So the first thing we've done is we've entered that. So we call them arrivals for Wendy's, and then we have our numbers that we put in. Okay, now we want to select graph and then highlight histogram. So we're going to go ahead and select graph, and then we're going to go to histogram. Okay, now we're going to select the column arrivals. Okay, and now we want a frequency because we want to do the first graph. And now the first important thing is the bins, where we start at. Well, if you see here, um, we want to start at 0 0.5 because we want to go below the 1 because that means we're going to start at 0 0.5. So here the starting point is going to be 0 0.5. And then we want the width of the rectangle to be 1. So we're going to put in 1. Okay, and then do you want values above the bar? We're going to say yes so that we can match what we drew over here. And then let's go ahead and then select compute. Okay, and so therefore there is our frequency. Okay, so there's our, fre our frequency histogram. So let me go ahead and copy that there. Okay, so there is our frequency bar graph. Okay, now um, just to match it with the one we just did up there, we can see how that matches. Okay, now let's go ahead and do the relative frequency. So now we're gonna go back to graph again. We're gonna follow the same steps and then we're gonna go to histogram. We're gonna make sure that the column that we put the data in is arrivals. And now we're gonna select relative frequency. Okay, and again, if we take a look at our physical graph, we want to make sure the bin starts at right below the one, which is at 0.5. So we're going to start at 0 0.5. And then again, we want the width to be one. So we're going to make the width be one. We want the values to be above the bar. And then that's all the information that we need. So we're going to go ahead and select compute. And therefore there is our relative frequency distribution. So let's go ahead and look at that here.
Okay, and so let's make sure that it matches. So therefore it matches our histogram. Uh, the only thing that I can see here is that it didn't round this to, to 0.18. Everything else is the same, which we have 0.18 when we round that to two decimal places. So therefore there is our relative frequency using StatCrunch.